What an excellent question we had sent in by a viewer this week. When would you choose a jig over a creature bait? Now, of course, these two different lures are extremely interchangeable. You can throw them in the same types of places, in the same type of cover, but there are a few things that I look at that help me determine if I'm going to pick up one or the other. The very first thing is, am I still in a searching mode or do I think I know where the bass are located? If I put that boat in the water and I've got to find them, if I've got to locate them, I'm going to go with the jig 100% of the time over the creature bait and for a very, very specific reason, and that is I can cover the entire water column from top to bottom with this one lure and I don't have to retie. I can drag it along the bottom, bounce it, and more importantly, with a twin tail grub trailer or a crawl trailer I can swim it through different parts of the water column and I can cover water quickly and locate where those bass are at so for finding bass I'm gonna take a jig over a creature bait pretty much 100% of the time now once I have them located I'm like okay I'm pretty sure they're in this area or I'm confident this this stretch of shoreline is gonna be where I'm gonna find some fish then there are several key factors that I look at. The first one is what is the bottom composition of the lake or river? If it is rock or a hard bottom, I'm going with the jig. I feel I have better bottom contact, especially with something like a football jig. I have confidence in using a jig in rocky types of situations, especially when it comes to dragging it, um, a worm weight, on a traditional Texas rig, oftentimes can get wedged into those rocks. So a jig, I feel, excels in that type of a situation. Now, if I have a silty bottom, or if I have a bottom to my lake or river that has some really kind of just short vegetation that just covers a vast expanse, well then a creature bait, in my opinion, does a better job because of its overall profile and length and all these appendages. Let's say that bottom part gets down in the vegetation. You still have all of this that is still visible to the bass. They can still hone in on it and see it, and that works the same way with silt. If you have a silty bottom on a lake or river i feel the creature bait and its length and profile gives you an edge as an angler next is what type of cover am i throwing at if i'm trying to skip underneath docks and branches and overhanging brush well the jig is going to get top billing this for me skips much much easier than something like a creature bait with all these additional appendages it can just get hung up on the surface of the water and not slide as nicely as the more compact jig. Now, when it comes down to things like brush piles and vegetation, a lot of that is going to be determined on water clarity for me. And that's because the creature bait I can get a much, much slower rate of fall, especially with these big paddles here on the back side of it. It displaces more water on the way down, and I can really get to this point where it falls very, very slowly. And if the water is stained and even very, very dirty, we want to have a slower rate of fall. It keeps it in front of those bass a little bit longer so they can target it, where in clear water, I usually like a little bit quicker rate of fall to get them to react to it. So if I'm fishing brush piles and you know larger uh, weed beds, I'm gonna look at that water clarity. Darker, dirtier creature bait. If it's clearer, I'll probably go with the jig. I like to have both of these rigged up on rods when it comes to um, some cover where I could really throw one or the other. I like to put a jig in there, then I'll put that creature bait in there and kind of let the bass determine what do they want on that particular day? Some days they're gonna want that little bigger profile than let's say that a traditional flipping jig might offer. They want a big old creature bait. And other days, nope, they, they're gonna go with the jig. So if you're in a situation where you can have both tied on, that's probably a, an excellent choice if you're just not sure which one to throw. If you would like to watch a video on what I think are the five best Texas rigged soft plastics, go ahead and check this one out right here. And hey, don't forget to go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.